All right, guys, go to War32 here. Check it out. We're sitting here looking at a bunch of uh, DMR rifle builds. A lot of you guys know the Elite build right here. This is a 20 inch uh, proof research barrel that's lights out. Also, you're probably familiar if you watch the channel. This is one of my favorites. This is a Criterion barrel. And, uh, and this is kind of along the journey. I just want to bring you guys along with this. So, this was the uh, budget build. Uh, with the Bear Creek Arsenal barrel system on it. And really and truly, one of the reasons what I was going to do was I was going to take that barrel off of, off of this build and put this guy on here. Now, I know you guys are going to look at this and think, man, what in the wild, wild world of sports have you got going on there? But this is the Ballistic Advantage. This is a 20-inch uh, fluted 416 premium rifle build one and eight twists one and eight twists is my preferred twist for any barrel that i'm using and instead of taking this barrel off of this system like i originally planned I was like I, I i still think there's something that can be done with this guy and maybe it's, it's so much as changing out the muzzle brake so we're going to try a, a bunch of different things to see if i can bring this guy in to becoming more accurate uh, another thing that you're going to be seeing here in the upcoming days is we're going to be doing some load development testing and a lot of, one of the guys on Instagram, because there, there are quite a bit of fire, uh, what do you call these things? Bullets. Yes. And different loads is that we are testing out different loads primarily for the elite build as well as my three gun rifle. So in the venture to further develop a 20 inch DMR gun. This is a backup to the backup to the backup. I went ahead and just built and put another upper on this thing. And guys, uh, <laughs> as you can see on this thing, it's a superlative gas block. These things were absolutely awesome. I've also got it on this guy as well. But as you'll notice that the gas block is exposed. And one of the reasons I do that is because, uh, well, one, that gas block does not fit in that handguard. And this is an old PSA handguard that I had laying around. I was like, hey, man, let's come up with a really cool design. But what we're going to do today is we're talking about this thing right here. This is the uh, a muzzle brake from Precision Armament. And so here we are. We're going to go ahead and bring this in. Now, again, don't forget about your 5% uh, discount code at Optics Planet. Precision Armament, U.S. made. This is the HT556 Black. This is the HyperTap 556 muzzle brake, 223. <laughs> one and uh, one half by 28 uh, threads. All right, it has a PVD matte black finish. All right, so take a look at this thing. You open it up, and in the contents we have this guy right here. This is these are two wrenches, and I guarantee one's going to be for the timing nut. The other one's going to be for the muzzle brake itself. It does come with a set of instructions right here. And it kind of gives you an idea. You want to use that side of the, the wrench for the timing nut and then this side for the muzzle brake. Now let's go ahead and take a look at this muzzle brake. First of all, look at that. That thing is beautiful. I'm going to hold it still, get her focused in there. Very nice. Now, these top little holes those are just for aesthetics i don't see any way that there's going through do have four chambers they are angled towards the back they are cupped also and what that does is it makes the air come out and back to the round similar to the sjc comp or the ultradyne very nice these grooves right here are for flash mitigation and then again of course here is the timing nut let's go ahead and take a look at the threads on this guy Look at that. Very, very cool. All right, so we've got our Ballistic Advantage barrel here. We're going to go ahead and get this thing on. The nice thing about having a counter or a opposing counter nut uh, like this, <laughs> a timing nut, is you don't have to worry about a crush washer or trying to get it to wrench it around or wrestle with it. So we'll go ahead and put it on just like this. There we go. And the cool thing about this fluted Ballistic Advantage barrel is we do have a flute, which is going to give us a 100% top of barrel view. Now, as you can see, there is some writing down here. Okay. So what we'll do now, I only have to read the directions. We're going to go ahead and back it off, and then I'm going to tighten that 
timing nut down. We'll go ahead and center it, make sure it's perfectly centered. There we go. Then you're gonna take your two wrenches. One is gonna go this way, and then you're going to hold the muzzle brake from turning. We'll go ahead and tighten this up. And the cool thing is, is that they are counter, so you do have something that you can grab a hold of here. And you're gonna mar it up pretty good. If you're not careful. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's pretty good. So anyway, there it is installed. Uh, what I want to do is kind of develop this as a series. We're going to be doing a uh, another video on adjustment of gas blocks. That should be a lot of fun. I want to show you how these can work in conjunction with, say, a lightweight uh, BCG. And the reduction between that and working with your buffer to mitigate back and forth recoil as you want in a good competition rifle. But also we'll be testing out the ballistic advantage barrel, seeing how accurate it is with multiple loads. We'll be doing a test on the superlative gas block right here. A lot of people ask me why I do I have these exposed. Well, uh, I leave them exposed because I want to make sure that there is no contact. This is an old PSA handguard and uh, <laughs> it was a little tight for this uh, muzzle, this uh, gas block here. So anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, it should be a lot of fun. Hopefully we get out this week and do some shooting with this thing and checking out that barrel. So anyway, up next, we'll be talking about the barrel itself. Also, we'll be talking about the superlative gas block and how it all works in conjunction. Don't forget KB32 TAC at Optics Planet. Get you 5% discount on this thing. This guy, she's not cheap. Retails for upper at about $150, $160. But at the end of the day, if you're investing in a rifle that costs about two or $3,000, this might be the one for you. All right. With that being said, guys, Code Boy 32, support red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless us men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good.